Good evening. I'm Michael Graham, a board member with the National Transportation Safety Board. Joining me tonight is uh, our investigator in charge, Aaron Sauer. The NTSB uh, just recently and within about an hour ago uh, arrived on scene for this accident investigation. Last night at 8.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, an Airbus EC-130 helicopter departed Palm Springs, California en route to Boulder City, Nevada. At about 10.08 p.m., the helicopter impacted the terrain south of I-15 near Holloran Springs, California. Holloran Springs is about 75 miles northeast of Barstow. Two crew members and four passengers were on board and were fatally injured. Before I go any farther, on behalf of the NTSB, I'd like to express our deepest sympathies to the families and loved ones of those who lost their lives in this terrible tragedy. We have a representative from the NTSB's Transportation Disaster Assistance Division on scene with us. She is currently working with the family members of those who lost their lives and will provide support as well as investigative updates as they become available. The NTSB is an independent agency charged by Congress to investigate every civil aviation accident and significant accidents in the other transportation modes. We are on scene now to gather perishable evidence. Our team is methodically and systematically reviews all evidence and considers all potential factors to determine the probable cause. This is the beginning of a long process. We will not jump to any conclusions, and the information that I provide for you tonight is preliminary. A preliminary report will be available in a couple weeks, and however, a full NTSB investigative report and investigation will last 12 to 24 months before a final report is published. Additional details about about the accident include the crew consisted of a pilot in command and a safety pilot. The accident flight was operated by Orbic Air LLC as a Part 135 charter flight. Witness reports of the weather conditions at the time of the accident suggest rain and a wintry mix. The, the helicopter was not equipped with a cockpit voice recorder or a flight data recorder. This helicopter was not required to be equipped with those type of recording devices. We are aware of media reports of some downed power lines near the accident site. We will be looking into this report during our on-scene investigative, st investigative phase of, of this investigation. The NTSB investigator in charge, as I said, is Aaron Sauer. He will be joined by Mark Ward as the deputy investigator in charge. Several other NTS investigators are on scene and will be examining the following areas. Airworthiness to include uh, maintenance and structures of the helicopter, operations, meteorology, and air traffic control. Parties to the investigation include the FAA and Orbic Air LLC. As the uh, investigation continues, other parties could be named. The BEA, the French Aviation Accident Investigation Agency, will serve as an accredited representative because France is the state of manufacturer of the Airbus helicopter and the Turbomeca engine. Both Airbus helicopters and Turbomeca Meca, Meca engines will serve as technical advisors to the investigation. Planned activities for tomorrow will include traveling to the accident site to conduct the initial on-scene documentation, and documentation will also include aerial mapping of the wreckage with a drone and site measurements. Working, uh, also, we will be working with Orbic Air to obtain flight crew rep records, helicopter maintenance records, and flight dispatch records. 
uh, we were aware that there were uh, several 911 calls last night to report the crash from Interstate 15. And we'd like to ask any of those people that had witnessed that if they would reach out to us with any further information they may have, such as photos or anything of that sort. And we can be reached through witness at ntsb.gov. Again, that's witness at ntsb.gov. We will provide updates as they become available. You can follow the NTSB on X, or formerly known as Twitter, at ntsb.gov. Uh, one final comment. I'd like to thank the uh, first responders who uh, f first uh, res responded to the uh, accident scene and the ongoing co coordination of the San Bernardino County uh, sh uh, Sheriff's Department. We really appreciate, appreciate all their work they're doing. Uh, I'll take a few questions here. Uh, as I do, please raise your hand, state your name and affiliation. Please, go ahead. Sean Hanlon News. Um, was there a fire involved when the aircraft uh, crashed after it hit the ground? Okay, the question is, was there a fire involved when the air crash uh, uh, hit the ground? Uh, as far as we know, uh, from what was reported from witnesses, that there was fire uh, when the aircraft did contact, contact the terrain. The rental company, or the was this a charter flight coming from Las Vegas as Orbit Air that, that these passengers rented this aircraft? Uh, yeah, the, the question is, did these passengers rent the aircraft from a charter company? Uh, yes, they did. The charter company actually uh, is, uh, I guess they have an address out of Camarillo, California, but I think they base out of Burbank. Uh, we're looking into that for sure. Uh, they will be arriving to help us out as a party member. Uh, the flight was actually from Palm Springs, California to uh, Boulder City, Nevada. The uh, weather conditions, you said there was a mix of rain and snow. Can you talk more about the weather conditions in the area at the time the helicopter was flying through that area? question is uh, about the weather conditions at the time of the accident and where the helicopter crashed. Uh, it was reported by witnesses that there was rain with some wintry mix. We currently have uh, a meteorologist working on our team and we are working to analyze and get the exact weather conditions at that time. Of course, that's uh, out in the middle of the desert, so we'll have to find the closest uh, reporting stations nearby to be able to give any accurate information as far as the weather was at the scene. My last question is, um, do you know the altitude that the helicopter was flying through the area? I mean, was it, you know, did they experience, is it possible they experienced a mechanical problem, they were flying high and they, you know, auto-rotated down or came down somehow, or were they flying so low that they crashed into the side of a mountain? What do we know about that? Uh, the question is, is about the altitude and the flight path of the helicopter uh, uh, during the flight. Uh, we don't have any specific information on that right now. We are getting air traffic control data, ADSB data. Uh, we're just starting to receive that. Uh, hopefully we'll have more information tomorrow for you on that specifically. And we always have to ask people, is, uh, do you hate anything on the passengers or the, the, the crew? Can you tell us anything about that? Uh, they're asking the questions about any more uh, information on passenger and crews. No, I, I have no information at this time on that. Um, any names, things like that will be released through the coroner's office. And if we have any updates on that, we'll let you know. But normally that goes through the coroner's office. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.